So when you open up a file in Minitab Express, this is what the screen is going to look like. And this is a data file containing the responses from a class survey that we give to our Math 232 students on campus each semester. And it asks them a variety of questions from what section they were in in Math 232, their gender, height, shoe size, etc., etc. The first thing I want to do is to show you how to calculate the numerical summaries of data we talk about in lecture and you're responsible for in the Week 2 assignment. So if you go to Statistics and Summary Statistics and Descriptive Statistics, click on that. We're going to choose a variable. We're going to look at the variable height. We can group by another variable if we want. For example, if we wanted to group height by gender, we could do that by double-clicking here. We can click on Statistics and choose what statistics we, we want to include. And we certainly want the mean. We don't need the standard error of the mean. We haven't even talked about what that is yet. We want the mean and standard deviation, right? We want the minimum, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, and the maximum. That's the five number summary we want. And we'll also include the number of scores and the number of missing scores. And click on OK. And there are the summary statistics. If you click on that and right click to choose copy, so I prepared this Word document for my data. This is a general form I'd like to see your homework files in. I've got my name at the top and the problem number, and then numerical summaries of data, height of Norwich University students. So we're asked to find the mean standard deviation for height of the Math 232 data set, first of all. I'm pasting that information in here, and then I'll make sure that I answer the question asked and the mean and standard deviation is 68.3 inches and 4.3 inches respectively rounded to one decimal place. Typically we'll round data to one more de decimal place than is given in the problem. The next thing I might be asked is to find the five number summary for height of Math 232 students. Now we already have the summary statistics there. We don't need to go back to Minitab Express for this. So I'm just going to type in the values for the five number summary. And remember that's the minimum, Q1, the median, Q3, and the maximum. And they're listed in order right here. And here I've typed in the five number summary, rounded to one decimal place again for that data set. The next thing we might be asked is to include a histogram of the distribution of heights of Math 232 students. So now we do have to go back to Minitab Express for this. And now I want to generate a graph. So I'm going to click on Graphs and Histogram. And we're going to do a simple histogram. And the variable we want to include again is height. So there we have the histogram. Again, if we want to copy this and paste it into our document, we click on it to select it. Right-click, Copy. We now come back to our Word document and paste the graph. And there we have the histogram of height. So we've pasted the histogram now into our Word document. The next thing we might be asked is about the shape of the distribution. It appears we have an outlier here. And you could do the 1.5 times interquartile range test to see if it officially is an outlier. But I wonder if there really is someone 86 inches tall or if that's a data entry problem. That's pretty tall. And then we have some pretty low scores here as well. With this distribution, I would call it roughly symmetric with a possible outlier. The next thing we might be asked is what is the appropriate numerical summary to report for this distribution? And if the distribution is symmetric with no outliers, we would report the mean and standard deviation. Keep in mind, the mean and standard deviation are not resistant measures. So since we have an outlier, we would either report the five number summary or remove that outlier and report the mean and standard deviation. I'm going to report the five number summary. Another graph that you might want to display would be the box plot. For height, and again remember this is just a graph of the five number summary. And notice Minitab here is saying the 86 is an outlier and a number of these data values are outliers as well. And again, if we wanted to paste this into our document, we could do that. 
The last two graphs I want to show you how to generate in Minitab Express are the pie chart and the bar chart. So I made up this spreadsheet with orders from our pizza shop, various kinds of pies, and the number of orders. Notice the first row here without a number is the label, and then the values are listed below. So we're going to go to graph, and this time we'll go to pie chart. Okay, and there are two possibilities. Counts of unique values in a categorical variable. If we were doing a pie chart for gender in the previous spreadsheet where we had male, female all the way down the column, we would want Minitab to count. But in this case, we've got summarized data for each value. So the category names are in column one, and the summary values are in column two. And we'll click OK. And there's the pie chart. Pepperoni is 35.7%. Cheese was the next big winner, 25.7%, etc. Again, if we click on this to select it and right click, we can copy it and paste it into a Word document. To generate a bar chart, it's very similar. We're going to click on bar chart. And again, we've got summarized values. We're going to do a simple bar chart. The summary variable, now that's asking us for the number. And the categorical variable is what they ordered. And there's the bar chart for that same data. Okay, This is not a histogram. This is a bar chart. Bar charts are for categorical variables. Keep that in mind. Okay, I hope this helps, and have a great week.